Section 7. Create Story and Put Finishing Touches Now we are in the seventh and final section of this video course. We have created a multi-tabbed dashboard so far. In this section, we will look at a new type of end product called Story. We will create a slideshow-like story and also give finishing touches to make it neat and ready for presentation. This section has four videos. The first one is called Creating Story Using Pins. Next is Changing Theme and Background. The third one is called Adding Multimedia and Infographics. And the last one is about Sharing Dashboard and Story Using Custom URL. 7.1 Creating Story Using Pins So far you have created a tab dashboard that has the important information to drive the meeting with your sales team. Typically dashboards are used for interactive access. So you think that you will share the link of the dashboard with the attendees. However, in the meeting itself, something like PowerPoint Slideshow will be very handy. Cognos Analytics provides a similar output called Story, so you are thinking of creating a story to use in the meeting. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is a story and how to create story, using pins to quickly reuse objects, and add transitions and animations. So let's open our multi-tabbed dashboard that we created in the previous section. And we know that we are having these charts and headline figures in Lost Opportunities tab, which are going to be useful in the slideshow for the meeting. We also want to reuse the visualizations from Promotions and Channels tab. And in the end, we would like to use the visualization from Geography tab. When we create a new story, in order to reuse these visualizations, we are going to use something called pins. In order to pin the item that you want to reuse elsewhere, you have to open the dashboard and you don't have to be in edit mode. In the normal consumer mode, you can pick and click on any visualization and then choose the option called pin. As this chart is now pinned, I will be able to use it anywhere else in some other dashboard or story. I also want to reuse the headline figures for actual sales, potential sales, and lost opportunities. So I have pinned those headline figures as well. In the slideshow, I don't want to provide the filter option. Instead, I will make sure that these headline figures and charts are pre filtered on Golf Equipment product line. Now let's go to Promotions and Channels tab and also pin the two visualizations. that we would like to use in the slideshow to show comparison between golf equipment and outdoor protection and personal accessories. Lastly, let's also pin the visualization for geography. Now you can quickly review the items that you have pinned by clicking on pins icon here on top right. So this list now shows all the items that you have pinned on this Cognos Analytics server. You can pin items from as many dashboards as you want and then use them all in your story. Now let's close the pins area and also close the dashboard and start with creation of the story by clicking on New Story option. We are going to start with Slideshow Type Story. And for the template or layout, 
Let's choose the layout which was same as the dashboard and click OK. So let's see how the story editor looks like. Towards the bottom, you have an area which is called Scene Selector. Each slide in our slideshow is going to be called a scene. And each scene will have a timeline. So you can put multiple objects in a scene and show them and hide them over time or define the entry and exit of the objects over time. If the scene selector is not open by default, you can click on the open scene selector icon like this to open the scene selector. Now we are in the first scene, as you can see here, it says number one. So you are on the first scene and we can drag the items that we want to show in the first scene. So when the slideshow starts, I want to put some text. So I'll click on the text icon here, click on title, and now drag it to make it larger, and then change the text. So I have some text here, which is already written. I'm going to paste that. The text basically says that we did extensive survey to find potential sales over 12 months of 2010 for all our product lines. On this slide, I have projected actual unit sales against potential sales for golf accessories. And we see that we could have done better by 3.6 million units. I will select the text. And open properties. And increase the font size. Now let's hide the properties area and also hide the text toolbar. Next, I'm going to click on this small icon on the top right corner of the scene selector. And I can see that the timeline is now shown. And right now, my text is showing as it's going to start at zero second and finish at fifth second. Next, let's open pins and drag the line and column chart by first clicking on it and then dragging in the middle to expand. Now notice that this line and column chart is also showing on the timeline to start at zero second and finish at sixth second. However, when this slideshow starts, I want to first show the text and afterwards I want to show this chart. So I will simply move line and column chart on the timeline and slide it to right hand side to start at 6th second. And this red bar basically shows how the presentation will look at any point in time. So I can move it to 4th second or 4.8 second and I can see that the text is still being shown. And as I move it further, I can see that the text is hidden and instead the line and column chart is shown. I'll also select actual quantity, headline figure and pull it on top. Potential headline figure and pull that. And I'll also pull the lost opportunity value. I want to make sure that all of these are golf accessories. So I'll click on filter icon and confirm that 
there is a product line filter for golf equipment on all of these visualizations. Now I will add one more text item. And here, write down as golf accessories performance. Golf equipment performance. And increase the font size. And make it center align. In order to quickly see how the slideshow will look like when it is presented, you can move this red slider back to zero second and then click on this play button. And you can see that the text is displayed first and then the chart and figures for golf equipment are shown. Let's see if we can do any change to the transitions or animation for the entry and exit of the objects. So let's click on the text and notice that on the properties we have a tab called animation. Right now the animation is set to fade in, fade out. And I could change it to be slide in from bottom and slide out to top. Let's put our slider back to zero and play. And notice that there was a quick slide out animation, but there was no slide in animation. It is important that the object timelines do not start at zero second. Otherwise, the entrance animation that we have selected will not appear. So for the text, I will change the start time to be at first second. Now I will move my slider back to zero and click on the plus, click on the play button. And I should see, as you just noticed, there was a text slide in from the bottom. Similarly, we can change the animation for the headline figures to be scale in, scale out. You can do multi selection. So I've selected three objects, and for all of them, I will select scale in and scale out. And now let's hide the scene selector. Let's close properties and open this in full screen mode by clicking on that icon on the right bottom and click on the play button to see how. Let's click, let's jump to the beginning of the scene and then click on the play button. So notice that how quickly we are able to build a story which is similar to PowerPoint slideshow. 
But the difference here is your PowerPoint slide shows are static items, whereas this is a slideshow like output which is coming from the organizational data or your own data. And you can very easily change the figures and charts by changing the filters, etc. Which is not the case with PowerPoint slideshows. So let's summarize what we have learned. Stories are like PowerPoint presentations or slideshows and useful in mass communication. Stories differ from dashboards because they provide an overtime narrative, hence useful to convey a conclusion or recommendation. You learned how to create story and add timeline and animation effects. Why don't you check out the guided journey type story yourself and figure out how it is different from slideshow.